Hello and welcome to the session. My name is Mansi and I'm going to help you with the following question. The question says the runs scored by two teams A and B on the first 60 balls in a cricket match are given below. Now the table given to us consists of number of balls team A and team B. Represent the data of both the teams on the same graph by frequency polygons. Now first of all we see that these intervals are not continuous. So first of all we will make them continuous and then we will find the class marks. So the continuous intervals would be 0 0.5 to 6.5, 6.5 to 12.5, 12 12.5 to 18.5, 18.5 to 24.5, 24.5 to 30.5, 30.5 to 36.5, 36.5 to 42.5. Now this we do because we know that if the intervals are not continuous, then we subtract 0 0.5 from the upper, from the lower limit and we add the 0 0.5 to the upper limit in every interval so that the interval thus obtained they would be continuous. Now we will find the class marks of all these intervals. We get the class marks by finding the average of the lower limit and the upper limit of an interval. So here we can get the class marks by 0 0.5 plus 6.5 divided by 2 that is 3.5 9.5, 15.5, 21 and so on. Now with this table we draw a graph and then we have to make frequency polygons for team A and team B. Now we see that for team A we have to plot the points 3.52, 9.51, 15.58 8 and so on till 57.5 and 2. This is the graph on the x-axis we have taken number of balls, y-axis we have taken the frequencies. So now we will plot all the points first of all for the team A. So these are all the points for the team A. Now we will join all these points to obtain frequency polygon for the team A. Now we name each point by A, B, C, D, E, F and so on. So this is the frequency polygon for the team A. Now similarly we will draw a frequency polygon for the team B. Here the points will be 3.55, 9.56, 15.52, 21.5, 10 and so on. Now we will again plot these points on the same graph and then we will join the points just like we have joined for team A. And that will be the frequency polygon for the team B. So like this with the pink color we have plotted the points for the team B. Now we will join all these points. So similarly we have named the frequency polygon for team B also by P, Q, R, S and so on. So here we have represented the frequency polygons of both the teams for team A as well as for team B. So this is our answer to the question. I hope that you understood the question and enjoyed the session. Have a good day.